My parents referred to each other without any irony as soulmates. The rocks in his head matched the holes in mine. <laughs> they were born 10 days apart, and they grew up two blocks apart in East Harlem, New York City. Tenements, we had nothing. They were in the same fifth grade class. He was the fat boy in the back of the room. They never dated, much less anything else, to anyone besides each other. We were too poor. <laughs> they were too poor. <laughs> too poor. I guess I feel that anybody who actually gets into comedy and humor, myself, is that certainly true, there's a certain amount of damage that's been done <laughs> early on yeah. that, that when did you, look, your parents were pieces of work. They were. They were. Your mother was a ball buster. <laughs> yes. And she, she didn't a... restrict it to testicles. This is true. She was a. a, a she I, was well, a... Talk, talk about her because in, in, in reading this book, your, your, your relationship with your mother is very conflicted. She is, she's, she is brilliant. Yes. She's very smart. That's what your father keeps saying. Yes. No matter, whenever you defend him, she, what does he say? Um, well, she's a brilliant woman. She's a, you know, uh, well, see, the, I mean, have you ever heard anybody described as in this, as if they're praising the person like, this woman is wonderful, she's a force of nature. And I always think when somebody is described as a force of nature, it means this person stay out of their way because <laughs> they are a tank, they don't give a shit about anybody except themselves, and they're horrible. One of the things uh, uh, you have your mother saying is that basically she's a powder keg. She's ready to blow. Oh, yes. And, and, you know, she was very close to her emotions. She was, and I think that's one thing that's really different about people who are funny that, um, that I've noticed, that my mother, it's like if she felt something, she felt it like 100%. Like if she was happy, she was really happy. If she was sad, she was really sad. And so your mother would tell one story after another oh, that yeah. always ended in, and then they died. And then they died. So tell well, some okay. of those stories. Okay. One of them was I was not allowed to sit directly on the ground. And like just a layer of clothes, like concrete was okay, but butt on ground, like earth types, grass type ground was like no. And a layer of clothing was not enough to protect. And the reason for this is that she knew, she, her best friend when she was growing up, Beatrice, she sat directly on the ground, she caught a cold in her kidneys, <laughs> and she died. And she died. And she died. I what don't about know. going out with a wet head? Oh, wet head. Oh, my God. You go I, out with a head head? That, yeah. That's instant Why not death. just take heroin? For more of the New Yorker Festival, subscribe to the New Yorker channel.